How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of brewery I have not had in a little bit of time, a bit of a minute, in the form of Vault Brewing. It's there of Hops and Clouds. Um, yeah, as you can see down there, this is a pale ale with mosaic citra and a zaka. Yeah, Vault Brewing. I have not had one of their beers in quite some time. They're not that far away from me, actually. Um... You know, maybe just about an hour away. Um, but I just don't get down that way that often. It's it's right outside Philly. I'm not a big Philly guy. Um, but, you know, Mark from um, from Vault, we actually uh, had them on my uh, podcast when it used to be a radio show. And uh, I've had quite a few of their beers. So I'm kind of excited to dive into this one. This one comes courtesy of Gordon. Thank you very much, brother. Yeah, let's dive into this sucker. What does it say? Of Hops and Clouds. Pale Ale with Mosaic, Citra, and Zaka. 5%. That's it. Done and done. Awesome. Simple. To the point. Fancy pants, minimalistic, new school kind of labeling. I can get down with it. It's other halfy without the other half little bits and blobbles and bobbles. Blobbles? Some kind of words like that. So let's see what we have here. So you're looking at a 5% pale hazy with a whole bunch of hops going on. It looks the part. You know, just kind of like a milky throat. It, it doesn't have that super density to it, but you're talking about a 5%, you know, pale. So it's not going to be as dense as what you typically get from those six, seven, eight percenters or above. Um, you know, just quarter pinky finger, you know, rocky kind of head, not even rocky or soft or creamy, just small. Let's put it that way. And kind of, you know, medium and small bubbles kind of lining the edge of the glass. Rich, soft, kind of like peach juice kind of vibe to her. Let's get a nose. It smells nice. It smells like bittering soft, like a little bit of um, tomato stocky with a little bit of soft fresh cut grass. So there's a soft kind of honeydew melon kind of vibe in there, which is the dabble of like uh, citrus zest too. So you get a little bit of the citrus notes, a little bit of soft melon vibes, and a little bit of the soft grassiness, a little bit of kind of dank kind of tomato stockiness. Done and done. 5% so sounds and wait... Doesn't sound like much. Smells like a chowder. Cheers. You know, I could drink 8,700, 365,932 of these. Um, and, yeah, that could happen. Uh, it, it's just it, the definition of chuggable. <clears throat> it gives you those soft melon vibes. It gives you those soft green grassy vibes, not necessarily as dank or as sticky as that come up to kind of tomato stockiness. More soft green grass, definitely a bit of that honeydew melon, along with a little bit of citrus zest, a little bit of dryness, just a little bit of dryness from that yeast. Neither thin nor dense mouthfeel, enough to kind of turn you on, but uh, not big enough to get in the way of just chugging the living shit out of the beer. It's nice. It's tasty. It's a little bit less than a month old. And like I said, this is this is the beer I want to get in a 30 rack. If I'm in the mood for something beyond my Jetty Creams, and I'm like, okay, I want to get a 30 pack of beer. I want to bring it to the beach. And I'm going to drink that all day. That's what this is. It's, it's a quintessential uh, session beer. Chugger beer. And that's it's, it's a cool place for it to kind of exist for this singular reason. Is that you rarely get that nice balance between those hops, sweetness, and chuggability. There's 5%, even sub-5%, getting into that 4.5% range or even less of pale ales that are awesome. I'm looking at you, Equilibrium, with your photons out of the world. I'm looking at you, District 96. I'm looking at, there's a couple, you know, Bissell makes a couple. And they're great but they're really, really aggressive on the hop front to the point where they're quite tasty, they're quite drinkable, and they're very impactful and pretty damn awesome beers in their own right. But since they are so aggressive on the hop front, they don't really classify as a super session, super chugger beer, even if I kind of said I would session or chug the shit out of them. This one, one I keep burping. Uh, this one, with how... I don't want to say not impactful, because it's impactful enough, but how gentle it is, how rounded it is when it comes to the way the hops are disp displaying that greenness and that fruitiness. 
it just ends up lending itself to be just a super duper crazy. Th this is going to be drank in like 13 seconds after I can shut the camera off. Yeah. Tasty. Clean. Well made. You can tell that. Even though it is a hazy, it doesn't drink much like a hazy. It's got a soft silkiness to it that I think that haziness kind of adds to it that lends to that drinkability. But it comes off a little bit more like old, clean, old school clean kind of East Coast kind of IPA-ish without those kind of sharp jagged edges. And that's a beautiful thing. So let's talk about it. Is it one of the better... Let's go Session beers. Session hoppy beers. Slow ABV hoppy beers that I've had is like, yeah, this is delicious. This is up there with a lot of the uh, Tiny Bird series, Little Bird series from Trillium. And some of those lower ABV crushers that I put on my chugger list of last year. If I'm going to make a trigger list this year, this one's probably going to go on it. Um, value and availability? No idea. Uh, I think... I'm pretty sure their stuff hits distro. I don't know if this does, but maybe Alex... Um, or Gordon, sorry. Could chime in and let us know it's what when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to how and where to procure this. And uh, leave you with... Uh, if you like what we like this. If you like chugging beers. If you like hops and you like chugging beers. And sometimes you like to drink beer for as an event with people just to drink and have a good time and hoot and holler and do all that fun stuff without having, while this beer can dis be discussed, I'm sitting here on the internet talking about it, while it can be discussed and dissected, it can also be part of a good time, not the good time. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down here if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little chugger right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.